Hey, guess what? My name's Yonka and I'm doing a really bad job so far. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. I'm so glad to have you guys here today. Okay, so we have the last in this trio of declutter videos. Yes, I'll have more declutter videos on my channel. I just do them. I have my blush declutter video today. It will be my hardest declutter. I have the most blush. I love blush. Blush, it makes a statement on your face. It's just beautiful. And it has so much pretty colors to it. Whereas like with bronzer, it's mostly brown. <laughs> Highlighter, it's mostly champagne. Yes, there's some color differences, but blush, there's so many pretty colors. And it's there's different textures and tones and it's just so pretty. I love blush. And I was born in the 80s, so I just have an affinity towards blush. I have bought all of these blushes myself, I think. Maybe one or two I got from Influencer, but I don't get PR and I have a love for all of them because I bought them. I saved money from my job and I picked them out and was like, I want that blush because I I saw somebody reviewing it or I saw it at Sephora or, you know, and I picked it out and I, and I fell in love with it. So all of these blushes are special to me. And so it's hard for me to declutter any of them. So if I declutter any, it is heartbreaking, <laughs> which I know is ridiculous. But as I've said in other videos, I have a very obsessive personality and I am obsessed with makeup. I, I am going to be trying to get rid of some of the stuff because do I need to? No, like nobody's telling me to, but I, I need to be able to see, see my makeup collection. I have so much blush that when I see it, I go, oh, look at this beautiful blush collection. It's beautiful, but then I get overwhelmed and I go, oh my gosh, which one am I supposed to use? Oh my gosh, I can't use it all on my face because it's so much and then I feel bad because I'm not using it all. Anyways, there's a lot of feelings because I love it all so much, but then I also feel guilty because I'm not using it all and there's a lot of feelings. So I need to give some of this blush new homes because it's not getting used. Even though I love it so much, I can't use it all on my face. So <laughs> I'm going to be giving it to friends and family. Even though I have talked about in other videos that I'm going to be setting up a, a Poshmark or Mercari one day, maybe, maybe one day I will. I don't know, it hasn't happened yet. Um, but as of now, my friends and family still want my makeup. So I'm going to still be giving it to them until they don't want it anymore. Then I'll probably put it on a Poshmark and Mercari. This blush will be going to a new home and get, get, be given a new life. And I think that's fun. And so mostly I think probably what will get decluttered is stuff that I've gotten in beauty boxes because I didn't personally pick it out myself. And so I don't have that love and attachment to it, but we'll see, we'll see. And the only stuff that will get thrown away is if it is old and chunky. And I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of that. So I hope that you enjoy this video. And if you do, give it a thumbs up. Here we go. Okay. Here are all of my blushes. Whew. Way too many. I counted first and just take a guess. Take a guess how many blushes are here. I bet, I bet it's more than you think. <laughs> 150, 150 blushes. Come on, Bianca. This is too much blush. <laughs> And I did a blush declutter last year, so it's not like it's been years since I did a blush declutter. Clearly I've purchased more blush. Like right now is the year of blush, like all the companies are coming out with blush. And they have been for quite some time. It's not just me who loves blush, everybody loves blush. I'm not special, <laughs> everybody loves blush. A new blush comes out and I'm like, I want it. So I kinda get it. Also, I have on my channel a couple of videos that are like purple blush videos and red blush videos and orange blush videos. And so like for my channel, there are videos that I purchase specific products for. Like so the, for those videos, I purchased red blushes and, and there was a cool pink blush video. So I have purchased blushes for those videos. And 
that is a hard thing because I'm, I actually am now finally getting paid for this channel, but not, not a lot <laughs> because I'm still a very small channel, but putting a lot of money into this channel when I'm not getting a lot of money back is not that wise of a decision. But anyways, it was fun for me. This is a hobby for me that I enjoy doing and I enjoy makeup. So Bianca, you are really just getting into the weeds right now. I am going to organize this, put it into cream versus powder. And I might, because there's so many here, I might also separate it even beyond that and kind of go by colors. My intention here is to get rid of a third though. With my highlighter declutter and my bronzer declutter, my goal was to get rid of the third. I was, I don't wanna give away what I did on those other two videos because I want you to watch them if you haven't. So go watch those videos and see how I did. My goal here is to get rid of a third, which if I have 150 blushes, a third is, is 50, 50 blushes. I have tried to put these in two categories by color. It is kind of okay. So the top row is purples. This row is kind of nudes-ish, kind of terracotta. This row is pink, kind of red slash like burgundy. Yeah, this is kind of orange slash uh, coral. And this one was aubergine slash whatever was left that didn't fit into the rest of the categories. Cool, anyways, so let's start with our purples over here. ColourPop, Fenty, NYX, Lorac, Give Me Glow, yep. This one's Give, these two are Give. This is Persona. I tried to swatch the Pat McGrath one twice because this was the purple by itself and then this was it mixed together. Uh, but it just kind of, I don't know if it really worked out that way. Um, and then we have the other Give Me Glow. I always have a hard time decluttering, obviously. Uh, but purple, for some reason, is one of my favorite blush co colors. It was my, one of my favorite videos that I did was my purple blush video because I thought it was unique to have purple blush, but I also just really love the way purple blush looks on me. So am I going to get rid of a lot of my purple blush? No, I'm not because I just love the way that purple blush, it transforms and turns this really beautiful pink on me. And so I just love it. I think it's unique and fun. So. If I don't get rid of a lot of purple blush throughout this whole video, that is what it is. Okay, I think that I am gonna get rid of this ColourPop one. I have kept it throughout many declutters and I just don't end up using it because it's so subtle and it's just not my favorite formula because it, I, I guess I prefer more of a brighter purple than that uh, lilac-y kind of purple. So we are going to get rid of this ColourPop it is in the shade Night Bloom, although it's so pretty. Uh -huh. I just want all of them. We are gonna keep, obviously, the Fendi, I just got that. And we're gonna keep this NYX, I just got it. I was thinking maybe I could probably pass along this Lorac because I've had it for a while. And it is kind of close to the Fenty, like the color, but the Fenty one is shimmery and the Lorac one is not. Fenty is shimmery and Lorac is not. This is not working out well already. I'm already having a hard time, but ColourPop and Lorac are on the chopping block. Holy cow, this is not going well. Give me glow, keep. Give, keep, keep. Holy cow, I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well. Uh, good job, Bianca, that was terrible. You put two on the chopping block. Wow, so now we have this hand. So this hand, I started off kind of nude and then it went to just kind of coral and I was like, well, that happened. Um, anyways, we have Fenty, we have Bare Minerals, we have Pat McGrath, we have, this one is from Phase Zero. Um, then we have Sigma, we have Persona, we have Patrick Ta and we have Bare Minerals. I have, very rarely use this Vega Zero, but I always keep it every year because it is so beautiful. Look at it. Look at it, it's so pretty. I need to somehow get rid of it <laughs> because I feel like maybe it's in the wrong category because right now I'm putting it in with my neutrals and it, it is like the prettiest coral. And I think if I put it here with my corals, 
Maybe I'll find another coral that I have that is prettier. We're gonna keep Fenty, obviously, because Fenty is brand new and we're, it's gorgeous. I think Fair Minerals is gorgeous, so we wanna keep that. This Pat McGrath is really pretty. I put this in another category. Sigma, look how beautiful that Sigma is. So pretty. I feel like these three are kind of maybe in the wrong category. <laughs> I think I think before I get rid of them, I think it's because I have them in the wrong category. So I need to recategorize those because I want to get rid of them, but I think I need to compare them to where they belong because they're more pink. <sighs> wow. Hey, guess what? My name's Yonka and I'm doing a really bad job so far, but hopefully we'll pick up the momentum and we'll do better. Trust me. I promise you I will do better. I promise. Okay, I think I'm better organized now. <laughs> I think. Uh, it's not until you like swatch them out that you realize that you don't have them swatched out very well. Anyways, I have pinks here. Hot pink and cool pink. Right there we have Juvia's Place, the double one. We have ColourPop, ColourPop. We have Kaleidos, we have Persona, we have, what is this, Bobe Beauty, we have Dior, and we have Patrick Star, which is one size. So let's get rid of some, some of these, okay? I know for a fact that I'm gonna get rid of this. I got this in Ipsy, and I was so excited about it because I was like, oh, this is so pretty. There's, there's three different formulas here. We have a cream, we have a powder, and then we have a glimmery one. And I was like, yes, so exciting. And I was like, oh, I actually even did a cool, cool pink blush video. I love cool pink blush. I put this on my face and it looked like I, I don't know, I was dead. It was horrible. It was terrible on my skin tone. It's here, these three right here. And I just know that it looks bad on me. I know that it actually looks terrible on my skin tone. So we're going to be getting rid of this, this guy. This, this is an expensive blush. I wish I would have gotten a different color. I wasn't able to choose the color or I would have chosen a different. This right here is actually the Juvia's Place, the top and the bottom. And then we have the ColourPop, the actual one in the shape of a heart. Then this one that is the heart right there. Then we have that uh, Patrick Star one, the one size. Juvia's Place, Kaleidos, Persona, Bobe Beauty, and Dior. Okay, cool. So I know I want to keep Dior because this one was way too expensive. I think that this is a really pretty duo. So I'd like to keep it because it's a pretty duo and it's actually a really nice dupe for this Dior. So I don't think I need to keep too many of else of these. Out of these two, I feel like I only need to keep one. Honestly, I thought that this one was gonna be red and I was buying it for my red tone blush video, but it turned out to be pink, <laughs> this dark pink one. So this one actually, I tried to build up and build up and build up and it took forever to build up, which actually might be a good thing because this is such a bright blush tone that maybe this one being so harsh so fast oh i don't know it's just this is such a cute container and this one's not as cute i mean it is the powerpuff girls but i actually never watched the powerpuff girls i think i was a little too old for it so it's really at this point do i want something that is uh really pigmented yeah yeah i think i do okay so we're gonna keep this one and i'll get rid of that one so it's these three i think that this bubble one is actually the prettiest one out of the three. So let's keep the bubble. And I think we can get rid of these two, which I actually no, you know what? I, I really like these. I really like these packages. So I, I would actually like to keep these. These are just this beautiful packaging and I have a ridiculous collector's mentality. So I'm not going to get rid of this. I'm going to keep them. Oh, that's silly Bianca. But here, you know what? I did do better though. I got rid of three. <laughs> not very good. It's really not. Um, you know what? Actually, I think maybe I'll get rid of this too because I have a hard, it, it's so big that it's hard to store. Um, it may be pretty, but I'm, I am already keeping a, a dark pink and a light pink and a light pink and a light pink. I don't think I, let's put it on the chopping block. <laughs> okay. We are for sure getting rid of these three though. That wasn't as good as I had hoped it would be, but you know, 
I'm building momentum. Now we have the reds and burgundies and we have the peach and orangey. Okay, so reds and burgundies. We have Kaleidos, we have Color Pop, nope, Mac, Color Pop, Nabla, Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, Bare Minerals, Bobe Beauty, and House Labs before they reformulated. Okay, let's make some decisions here. This Kaleidos, gorgeous. Mac, really pretty, but I feel like they're the exact same, you know? Huh, this ColourPop, that was so hard to build up. I had to build and build and build and build to get that to do anything. It was silly, just silly, nonsensical. I don't like the formula of this. I don't like that it's a powder and it's ridiculous to store, gone. Okay, so these are maybes. Um, this Nabla, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Then we have, House Labs is gorgeous. This Bobe Beauty one's gorgeous and this Bare Minerals is gorgeous. So I think we're gonna get rid of that one and that one and I think I need to choose between those two. And I think that the Kaleidos is prettier than the MAC. I think I actually have decluttered this one in a previous video, but then I did a video where I did a full face of MAC Cosmetics and I needed to pull it out so that I could have a full face of MAC Cosmetics. And this was my only MAC blush, so I had to pull it out and then I was like, oh, that is a pretty blush. So I don't think I need two of the exact same tone blush. So I got rid of three. Yay. Okay, now we are going to this orangey corally situation. Okay, we have again Kaleidos, we have RMS, we have that phase zero that I am trying to get rid of just because it's old. I've had it for a really long time. Um, then we have this one from Delancey. We have this one from Tom Ford, which I got this one from Influencer or there's no way in heavens that I would have a Tom Ford blush because this was like a $90 blush. Uh, then we have Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, so cool. I think this Kaleidos is gorgeous. My first try was not very uh, good. Like you guys saw, I got rid of nothing and it was sad, but I am glad that I did that because I want, I got to compare these two and look at, Look how similar those two are, except for our mess is prettier. So I am going to finally get rid of this fave zero because I have RMS and it's prettier and this is way older. So I need to get rid of it. Yay. This Delancey one is, is kind of similar to this Kaleidos one, but it is much brighter. It's actually kind of similar to this one, this Kaleidos. So I have this Kaleidos and I have this Kaleidos and this is just it's almost, it has too much of a white base that I feel like it would not show up well on my face. So we're going to get rid of that one. I'm not getting rid of Tom Ford. This is a $90 blush. <laughs> uh, this one is, I, I swatched the coral shade by itself. And then this one is what I put them together and it still kind of looks the same regardless. That's it alone. That's it together. But eh. okay. And then we have Charlotte Tilbury. This is in walk of no, yes. Walk of no shame. And I kind of tried to mix the first, the middle shade and the outer shade together. And it's so pretty. Okay, so I only got rid of two in that one, but it was a smaller one. So great. Okay, I am going to swatch out the next two rows. Here's the last of the powder shadows. Yay. Okay, this hand right here, we have Patrick Ta. We have Bare Minerals. We have Persona. We have Patrick Ta. We have Bear, nope, what is this? <laughs> Hourglass, Bianca, get it right, Hourglass. We have Kaleidos, we have Ofra, and we have Odin's Eye. Okay, so, you know, I always think that I don't like this Patrick Ta right here because I'm like, oh, it's so neutral, it's so pale. Look at this, look how not pale that is. Look how like much pigment that is. I need to get rid of some of this blush so I can remember how awesome this blush is. Am I right? Okay, so we're keeping that Patrick Ta. I love these Bare Mineral ones. They're just gorgeous. Um, so keeping, keeping. I'm upset at myself that I swatched this one because I had never swatched this one. It was a clean slate and I could have just sold it without having ever been swatched. But you know what? I really like these Persona ones. And so I'm just going to tell myself, you know what? You're keeping it now because I swatched it. And now like 
could I still sell it and be like, guess what? Swatch it only once. Yes. We're just keeping it. Okay. I think we're keeping that whole row, but I think we might be getting rid of this whole row because hourglass, you know, it's this high end name that is like really, really expensive, but it is just so lacking in pigmentation that I have to do a lot to build it up. And I just never even like it that much. I got this one in a fat bit bun and it was like, eh. okay. So getting rid of hourglass, which I know that's weird, but I do want to, I feel like this one is okay, but I really like these Kaleidos blushes. So I just kind of want to keep it because I want to keep it with the set. This Oprah one is okay, but it's not, I'm not keeping things that are okay at this point. I want to keep ones that I'm like, wow. And this Patrick Ta one and this Oprah one are very similar. And I think the Patrick Ta one is like better. So eh, getting rid of this Odin's eye one. I believe that I dropped it at one point and I broke it and it makes me not want to use it because it is sad and it's, it's really just not that impressive anyways. So bye. We're getting rid of those three. I think I did okay. Considering I didn't get rid of the first four, I got rid of some of the other ones. Okay, cool. Then we have this mauve ready. I don't know. It, it was kind of the last of the category and I didn't know what to put it in. So here we go. <laughs> okay. We have NYX. We have RMS. We have COSAS. We have Pat McGrath. We have RMS. We have um, Benefit. We have Patrick Ta and we have Persona. Okay. So I love this NYX one. It is so pigmented. It is so beautiful. I love this RMS. Pigmented, beautiful. COSAS, pigmented and beautiful. It's this Pat McGrath one. You know, I feel like I use, I get Pat McGrath because it is so expensive and it's so luxurious and it's so like, everybody's like, ooh, Pat McGrath and the packaging is just luxurious. But is the stuff inside luxurious? I don't know because I feel like I have been decluttering Pat McGrath. It's good that I do these declutters because it's teaching me that there is better than luxury. Luxury makeup may not, is maybe not be my thing because luxury makeup usually isn't very pigmented and that really isn't my jam. I like pigmented. So I think we're going to get rid of you. Weird. I know. Okay. So that was that. So then we have RMS stunning. We have benefit stunning. We have Pat, or Patrick Ta. These two. So cool. I love it a lot. And then we have this one from persona and it's just meh. It's meh, right? Right there. Uh, I feel like these are both meh. So I know I said I'd keep it. Let's put them both on the chopping block. Okay, great. So I'm getting rid of four. Okay, and then I put two on the chopping block. All right, let's get out those cream blushes. I did actually separate the creams from the liquids just so this will take even longer. Yay. Okay, we have liquid blush hot pinks and light pinks and then neutral pinks red ish i don't know it it it's all just blush at this point I, I can i even see color of blush anymore these are kind of orangey ish these are kind of mauvey purple let's just do these right now so we have juvia's place we have rare beauty we have this one you can't even see it's supposed to be a color changing you know like ph changing that's from euphoria we have Ace Beauté, Ace Beauté. We have Give Beauty. And then this one is dried up. Nothing is going to come out of that guy. It is dry, dry, dry. So no, we have no swatch because it's dry. So that one is going to go in the <gasps> trash. <laughs> I love this one. It is extremely pigmented, but I still love it. And uh, I can make it work. It's hard to make it work, but I, I can make it work. Anyways, keep, keep, you know what? I have a color changing bl blush from Fenty that I really, really like. And this one is just bleh. It's, I feel like it's supposed to be, is it, is it also supposed to be a lip gloss or is it only supposed to be a blush? Eh, let's put this one on the chopping block because I just hate the ones that don't turn color on your actual skin and only change color on like foundation. It's weird to me. Anyways, um, 
Then these two from Ace Butte. Look at how fun and colorful those are. Eh, I like them. I think they're fun. I am not a huge fan of these Give Beauty ones. I bought them for half off, and they're all extremely unpigmented. Light, Bianca, wake up. <laughs> I'm tired. They just don't pack a punch. They are, are just, they are watery. They are not pigmented. They are not what I like in a blush. I don't like having to build up and build up and build up. So I have a feeling that all of the Give Beauties are going, going gone. So bye. Okay, cool. So we are going to go to this hand now. We have Rare Beauty, Rare Beauty. We have Give. We have Lunar Beauty. We have Charlotte Tilbury. These are the exact same color, so I only just swatched it once. Um, we have Drunk Elephant and we have Rare Beauty. I love Rare Beauty. I don't think I will be getting rid of any of my Rare Beauty blushes. It is one of my favorite formulas because it is so long lasting. I just love it. I love it. I love it. It's a little finicky and you have to figure out how to use it because it's so pigmented. But once you figure out how to use it, it is amazing. So keeping, keeping, getting rid of, I just don't care for the, the light pigmentation. Keeping Rare Beauty. And then you know what? Keeping obviously Charlotte Tilbury from Drunk Elephant is a watery mess. It kind of went everywhere, but it, yet it looks very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury, but is a watery mess. I got this one in a subscription box and I don't think I would have got it. It's the, you know, Rosy Drops, the Oblos. And I think I would have wanted, everybody's like going crazy over the De Bronzy Drops and I don't have those. I got the, you know, Rosy Drops and these are the ones that I don't really want. So. Eh, gone. Okay, but we're gonna keep Rare Beauty. All right, cool. So, got rid of four. We may or may not have some staining <laughs> from the last one, and there'll probably be some staining from this one's. Man, liquid blush is staining. Okay, so here we have Tarte, Rare Beauty, Tarte, um, Give Beauty, Give Beauty, Ace Beauté, Winky Lux, Dimnessa Myrix, Rare Beauty. Okay, so. We're going to be keeping this tart one. You know what? This was supposed to be red. It said, like when I got it, that it was cherry. Is I guess I guess cherries are kind of reddish brown, but I don't know. Cherries in my head are red. But anyways, I'm going to be keeping that one, even though it's not as red as I had hoped it was. But anyways, keeping, keeping. Of course, it's rare beauty I'm keeping. This um, tart blush is really very beautiful. Um, I am going to be getting rid of these. I just don't like these gifts. You know, part of me thinks maybe I should keep one. So I think that this one is darker than this one. So maybe we'll keep one. I have four, let's keep one, right? I got four for the price of two and we're only gonna keep one. Cool, okay, then we have uh, Ace Beauté, Winky Lux. And I think that this Ace Beauté and this, uh, this like Winky Lux one is kind of fun. It has this little like, dauber that is kind of fun and I kept two of the other Winky Lux one or Ace Beauté ones and this one I just feel like isn't as special although it is in this nice little uh, I'm trying to make decisions this is nice and like travel size and this one is not as travel size but they're it just okay I need to make a decision on those two Obviously, look at this one. This one is so <laughs> orange, but it, it's kind of fun. I got this one for my orange blush video, and I'm going to keep it. And then we, uh, Rare Beauty. So I would like to get rid of one more. I'm only getting rid of one so far, and I, I, would, I, think, I think we should get rid of one more in order to try to actually get rid of my collection a little bit better. And it would be one of these three. You know, let's just get rid of all three of them. I don't think I need any of them. I don't have a connection to, end, to all three of them. So maybe I'll put the Winky Lux in the, the chopping block, but those two, I'll get rid of those two. Okay, cool. So great. Now we have this pile, right? Okay, so we have the YC collection. We have Lunar Beauty. We have Rare Beauty. We have the YC collection. We have Rare Beauty. We have Delancey. We have um, Give Beauty. We have, man, I have a lot of these Give Beauties. Maybe I have... How many of them do I have? I don't even know. And then we have Daniel Sandler. These two YCs I've kept for a really long time and I got them in an Ipsy and I've just, 
I've kept them because they're pretty, but I've never really loved them. So I'm going to get rid of them, but I'm going to keep them where they were so I don't lose my place. But we're going to get rid of that, keep Lunar Beauty, keep Rare Beauty. So we're getting rid of these two YCs. We're keeping Lunar Beauty and Rare Beauty. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. We're keeping Rare Beauty. I really think I like this Delancey one. It's really pretty. So we're going to keep Delancey. We're getting rid of Give, and I think we can get rid of this Daniel Sandler. It is old. I've had it for a really long time. It seems to kind of be breaking up. So, okay, bye. Those are the only ones we are keeping from that one. Okay, the last of the liquid blushes. Here we go. We have Lunar Beauty. We have Rare Beauty. We have Urban Decay. We have Bite. We have Unearthly Cosmetics. We have, oh my gosh, my brain just died. Glossier, hello. Rare Beauty, Danessa Myricks, Elf, and revolution makeup revolution we are going to be keeping a lot of these they're that purpley mauve tone that i love um but if you can see that this one this one and this one are very similar mauves i don't think i need all three of those and we have uh, and it makes me frustrated that i have three of the same color Ugh. but when you're buying online it's hard to know <laughs> anyways so we, I think I'm going to keep this Lunar Beauty because I just recently got it. Um, this Rare Beauty because it's my favorite formula. So that means leaves Elf. So Elf is going. Um, I didn't get to swatch this one because again, it's like that other one that I had. It's dried up. It is, it's funny because there's a lot of, of like bevels on there for it to turn and turn and turn. And oh, I did actually get a little tiny bit out. But anyways, it is it's dried up it is dried up so it is going in the trash not being you know i'm not giving it to anyone because it's dried up okay so keep keep rare beauty i do like this urban decay even though it is kind of watery i feel like it's just because it's my only urban decay but yeah anyways keeping it this bite beauty one is so pretty look how it has this shimmer to it this unearthly one is actually a little bit splotchy but um, it's my, it's kind of like this Urban Decay one. It's my only one from Urban Decay, and this is my only one from Unearthly. And so I feel like I just need to keep it so I can have one blush from that brand, which is kind of ridiculous, but nah, whatever. Glossier, I love, I love this color. I love it. It's so pretty. So keep, and then this one. Yeah, that is, I thought it looked mauve. And then swatching it out, I'm like, huh, that should have gone with either my nudes or my corals. Yeah, well, anyways, I think we'll keep it because I'm not able to swatch it against any other nudes and corals. And at this point, that's too much work to do that right now. So, um, yeah, yeah, we're just going to um, get rid of these two and keep these. So, only two at this point. Swatched out these two back rows. It's really just purple and berry so I have said already I feel like a broken record at this point but I don't get rid of purple and berry very much because I just really like how they look so let's show you how they swatched okay so we have Morphe we have Tower 28 we have Fenty we have about face we have half magic we have uh, KVD this is the purple side and the berry side. And then we get over to the berries. So then we have this persona. We have half, uh, what is this again? Oh man, about face. Then we get over here and we have Danessa Myricks. We have Milk. We have Fenty. Item Beauty, which is not a brand anymore. Item Beauty, where was that? Uh, Fenty, Item Beauty. And then we have another Fenty over here. And then we have Tower 28 down here. And we have Item Beauty again. And then we have this one that I don't remember what this is called. I got it from Ice Cream Beauty. And I literally, it's not on here anywhere. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> um, Swarovski USA. Anyways, it's in this little rose. It's kind of cool. Um, I have another one that's red right there. So anyways, we have those right there. Okay. Let's make some decisions real quick because I'm tired and my joints are aching <laughs> from being in this position. All right, this Morphe one is chunky. It is not looking good. So we are gonna get rid of that. We're keeping Tower 28, we're keeping Fenty. 
I have kept these two about face ones because I just like the colors, but they just don't look very good. They're very pale. And I don't know why I keep keeping them when they're just not what I, I feel like I have decluttered them in the past and then I just pull them back out because I'm like, Bianca, keep it. it they're pretty. <sighs> what? You know what? I'm not going to pull them back out this time. I am going to declutter them. So declutter, declutter, declutter. Okay. Anyways. So we had this one, which was half magic. We had KVD. I love this KVD one. It's gorgeous. Then we have here. This one is from Persona. It's gorgeous. And then we had this um, about face. So we are done with that hand. Now we have this hand. We have this beautiful one. I already forgot. What is, what is my brain? Oh my gosh. Danessa Myricks. Gorgeous. This milk one doesn't look like very much, but it's because it's a stain. And now it's going to stain my hand and it's going to be that color for the rest of the day. Okay. So, um, yes, uh, milk. So, so keep, keep, um, I love this one, this Fenty one. It is, I think it's a cool berry. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. I think we're going to finally get rid of these ones from Item Beauty. They're just, they're pretty, but they're nothing like special. And the brand is gone. The brand is dead. So let's just get rid of it. Um, then we have another Fenty. Beautiful. And then we have Tower 28. Beautiful. Um, and then we have this about face. I mean, item, mm, meh, nothing, and nothing special. So we're going to get rid of it. Then we have this beautiful rose one, which is really pretty. So we're keeping it. Okay. We decluttered five, which I think is not too shabby. So let me swatch out some more things. We have this red row. Here we go. And this pink ish row. Okay, cool. So let's go with this red row. We have merit. We have persona. We have that U.S. Servoski, whatever it was. Um, then we have ColourPop. Then we have Fenty. Then we have About Face. Then we have uh, Rude Beauty. Then we have this one that I got from the dollar store, Ioni. Okay, really love this Merit one. It is kind of on the less pigmented side which is nice because it is such a bright red so i really like that and then this persona one it is very bright red but if i mix it with a, a bronzer it ends up looking really stunning so i really those two those two are saying these i just i do really like these rose ones even though they're hard to store i do like them so yeah we're gonna keep that one i also love fenty so i'm keeping that one that one is in daiquiri dip Okay, so that is the first row. We're keeping all of those red ones. They're really pretty. Red blush just, I think, looks really pretty on any skin tone. So, I mean, yes, is it really bright on my skin tone? Yeah, but you can tone it down and make it look good. Okay, then we have, okay, actually, I went a little even farther. This is that daiquiri dip one from Fenty. Okay, now, I'm getting rid of this about face. It just is, eh. Okay, um, I think I can get rid of this Ioni one because it's good, but I have ones that are better, even though it is, it's good. It's just, you know, a dollar store one. I don't, I don't need it. Um, I did keep that a dollar store bronzer. And so I don't feel like I need to keep a dollar store blush. So anyways, um, and then this rude beauty one, let's put this one on the chopping block because it is pretty, but I don't feel like it is like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. So I feel like I could get rid of it if I had to, but it is a brand that, I don't have anything else from and it's like an indie brand so it's something that i wouldn't mind keeping but i don't have to keep so let's put it on the chopping block okay i feel like i didn't do great i only have two that i got rid of in the reds but here we go let's go with the pinks okay so then we have tower 28 we have honest beauty and these are the old honest beauty in the old packaging and so i think i've held on to them for a really long time because they were my i think it was my first cream blush and it needs to go. It's, it's seen better days. Um, then we have this one from um, Phytosurgeons. Beautiful. Then we have the Item Beauty. And we have this one from Melt. So then we have this one from uh, Fenty. And then we had, I pulled out the color changing ones, the pH one. So I pulled out this 
uh, Euphoria one again. I had it on the chopping block, but I figured it'd be good to put it with all of the color changing ones because I end I actually have four color changing ones. And then I can kind of compare and contrast. So I have this one. This one is from Essence and they all four are very light, but you can tell that the Fenty one is the one that is doing the most. And actually the Euphoria is actually doing a little bit of something. And these two are not really doing a lot. This is the essence and it's in, it's in black. And so, it, but it really is just staying kind of black. So I think we can get rid of these two and keep these two. So it's no longer on the chopping block. I'm gonna actually keep it. And I think this one can also be a lip gloss. So it's a double whammy, but we're gonna keep these two. All right, okay, now let's go for the pinks. I love Tower 28, we're keeping it. Honest Beauty, you have seen better days. You're, you gotta go. Uh, Fido Surgeon's keeping Item Beauty, you gotta go. Um, we are going to, I like this Melt one, it's pretty. And then this Fenty one, we can keep. So, we got rid of one, two, three, can you see those? Not really. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not great, but not too shabby. So, moths and nudes and browns and kind of terracotta. Yep, yep, that's that's what we have. <laughs> okay, so we start with LYS. We have um, Tower 28. We have Danessa Myricks. We have another LYS. We have Item Beauty. And then we have, what is this? Rose Ink, I knew that. Rose Ink, Tower 28, and then ColourPop. Great. I really like this OIS and I really like this Tower 28 and this Denise Myrix and this OIS. So those four are staying. Now these four, not so much. I do like when I have a, a more of a, like a really colorful eye look to have more of a nude blush, but I feel like some of these are, are will just wash me out. So we already said we're gonna get rid of the item beauties. This one I just feel like is too orange. It has like an orange undertone. And so we're getting rid of that one. Tower 28, this one is gorgeous. This one is in Magic Hour, it's very pretty. So we're gonna keep that one. And then this one in ColourPop is kind of similar but different. It's it's a little bit more matte than that one. So we'll keep that one. Um, or you know what? I feel like we are not decluttering enough. So I'm gonna put it on the chopping block because that is the, just in case I need to declutter more, uh, because I feel like these are pretty similar. And I was keeping it because I was like, eh, it's pretty, why not? But it's not anything like super special. So, okay, cool, um, great. So we only got rid of two, but here let's go to these guys. We have Half Magic Beauty. We have um, Fida Surgeons. We have Tower 28. We have LYS. We have Phytosurgeons, Thrive, and ColourPop. Okay, I love this. This is Magic Brownie from Half Magic Beauty. It's really pretty. Phytosurgeons, really pretty. I think this one is exothermic. Pretty. Um, then Tower 28, beautiful. This one in LYS is really pretty. I guess I'm gonna keep those four. They're really pretty. Uh, then also this one, really pretty. I think it's these two that I can, I can get rid of. This Thrive one is old and it just seems like it isn't wearing very well. It seems like it is looking old. And this one from, Tower, from ColourPop, I just recently got it and it is looking kind of streaky. So, okay, that's only four. I think this might be the end. I think I am done with all of the blushes and I don't know what to do with myself. Oh, I am gonna go to sleep after this. <laughs> Okay, so we have orange slash coral, and these is this is just what wouldn't fit into any other category. This is the miscellaneous, so. Anyways, okay, here we go. We have this one from Say, this one from Honest Beauty, this one from Danessa Myrix. So Say, Honest Beauty, Danessa Myrix. Then we have Tower 28, then we have Fenty, then we have Rowan. Okay, so. I love this one from Say. It is shiny, it is beautiful, I love it. Then we have this one from Honest Beauty. We're getting rid of it because it's old, it's seen better days. 
Then we have Danessa Myricks. I love these blushes. They are just such good formula. This one from Tower 28, love it. This one from Fenty actually is not good. Like it is kind of watery. And I don't understand why that is happening, but I think we're gonna get rid of it. It's, it, the formula isn't keeping up, so. And this one from Rowan is, <laughs> I don't think I should have kept it in here. It is coral, but it is very pink. Anyways, it's a beautiful formula. I like it, we're keeping it. Okay, so only getting rid of two from that pile. Um, but I did wanna get rid of a third. And technically from this pile, that was a third. <laughs> I'm totally not gonna make a third, but. Anyways, um, then we have this tiny little four, some here, and we have um, Rose Ink, Rose Ink, and this is RMS and LYS. These two Rose Inks are very beautiful. Um, they're very uh, gooey. Like, do you see that, how gooey that is? But it's a, you know, it, it turns it, it turns out. It ends up looking really pretty, so really pretty. And I feel like this, I really like RMS as a brand, but I just don't feel like this is that special. I don't feel like it is that special of a blush. And I think I'm gonna put it in the chopping block and see if I can keep it. And if not, we're gonna get rid of it, so. And this LYS, I like it, I think it's pretty. Next assignment is to go through our declutter bin. I might just have to get rid of the entire chopping block, which is legit, cool. Cool, so let's go to that point. Good news, bad news kind of situation here. There are 41 blushes here. So, I mean, bad news, I'm not at 50. But good news, 41 is, is a lot of blushes to get rid of. And I actually, through doing this, I ended up finding three more blushes. So the total count is actually 153. So if I want to actually get rid of a real third the real third is 51. I thought I should be honest with you and tell you that it's actually 51 I should get rid of. So there are 10 more I need to get rid of. So let's show you the chopping block because I need to get rid of 10 more. And how many do I have in this chopping block? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Oh, I can keep one of these. I can keep one. So I think I want to keep this Kaleidos one because I said that I like this packaging. So I would like to keep the Kaleidos one. Part of me thinks that I should be able to count this as two blushes. And so if I did that, which I kind of want to, uh, am I cheating at this point? Maybe, maybe a little bit. So let's see, 41, 42, Oh crap. Uh, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. The reason I wanna keep this one is because I determined that I actually have two of this hibiscus. How do I have two hibiscuses? I have no idea. Literally, I do not. Maybe I got one free somehow, I don't know. So I'm like, well, I don't want to declutter two hibiscuses. I feel like I should keep one and declutter one. What was I at, 49? I don't want to declutter just to be to hit the goal because if there's one that, ones that I want to keep, I should just keep them. I feel like I should declutter one more and then I'll hit that original goal of 50, even though I'm kind of cheating because I'm saying that Juvia's place is, is two blushes, so. I kind of want to keep this one because it's an indie brand. I'd want to keep this one and I kind of want to keep this one because it's so pretty. <sighs> I have a lot of that, that pink, but I also have a lot of lavender. We are going to get rid of this one and we're going to keep these three. So we are getting rid of 50, which was my original goal is a little bit of it cheating because I'm making that dubious place too. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I did it. We're getting rid of 50 blushes. <sighs> Yay, success. All right, well, if you like this video, like this video. If you wanna see more from me, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be notified of my videos, push that bell. And most importantly, be nice to yourself because you, you are amazing. Have a great day.
バイ！